Hey everyone, Srini here from Unmistakable Creative, and in this video I'm going to talk about how to capture book notes in MEM. So one of the things that trips people up often, particularly with tools like this, is that they don't have any sort of organizational system. And if you're trying to figure out how to organize MEM, I would recommend that you go back to one of the first videos I created about what makes MEM different. Tomorrow I'll actually create a video on how to build a second brain inside of MEM. But for today, we're just going to talk about one thing, which is book notes. Now, one of the keys to capturing book notes and being able to find them very easily is to tag your book notes with some sort of metadata. Now, for every book note, we're actually going to create a specific mem. And in that mem, you're going to have the name of the author. So let's just look at something that I already have. In this case, I have books from Cal Newport already in here. The topic would be productivity. And what's really important here is categories. And so this will actually go into my book notes category. Now, this isn't actually a book note. It's just a video on how to create book notes. But because of the fact that I've tagged it with book notes, it'll end up in the book notes category. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to erase all of those right now so that this doesn't actually end up there. Now, this actually is far simpler when you actually just use a template instead of try to do this every single time. And you can actually include your metadata inside of your template. So let me show you exactly how I created a template for book notes. <clears throat> if you go here, you can see here, I have a book notes template. I can edit this template. And in this case, I have the author, the title of the book, and what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to go ahead and just put the categories in by default so that that way we don't ever have to worry about dealing with this. So resources is one category because book notes are a specific type of resource. And now anytime I actually use this template, so let's actually do this. I'll copy some book notes from one of my other <clears throat> databases into mem. If we go back to our timeline, you can see here that I can create a set of book notes from a particular template. In this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use Jeffrey Shaw, who I just interviewed about his new book. The topic of the new book was self-employment. So I already have that tag in there. And I'm going to go ahead and pull these book notes in from Notion. And if you haven't used it yet, I'd highly recommend an app called Readwise, which actually makes taking book notes much easier. One of the things that I used to do was actually type up all of my book notes, and that became incredibly time consuming. And the nice thing about Readwise is that it actually allows you to just use your phone and take pictures and use uh, optical character recognition to scan in all your book notes. So it makes the process of capturing your book notes way faster and much easier. So in this case, what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and copy all of these different book notes from this book that I just finished reading for my interview with Jeffrey Shaw. And we'll go ahead and put them inside of mem. And basically, now we see that we have these book notes. Now, obviously, this is a mess because of the cut and paste. So we want to clean up the formatting a little bit. As I mentioned in one of my posts in the Slack group, by having bullets, um, we can actually separate things out so that it makes it easier to find inside of mem spotlight. So for example, if I gave this an H2 tag, everything that shows up under here, if I just type the self-employed ecosystem, would actually show up in Mem Spotlight for me to cut and paste as opposed to having to highlight each individual section and go through that. So that's really it. Capturing book notes in Mem is super simple. And one thing that I love is the fact that whenever you search for a keyword, things are easy to find. So in this case, if we go, for example, to Jeffrey Shaw and we look at all the things that are tagged with Jeffrey Shaw, you can see here I have my book notes. Let me give this a title as well, which is the title of the book. And because I've interviewed him on the Unmistakable Creative Podcast, you'll actually see here that I also have my notes from my podcast interview with him. And you can see I've tagged that as well. So now I have all the resources related to this particular person which is cool. And thanks to the new feature that Mem added with Google Calendar integration, you can actually take notes on your podcast as well and then link the two things together. So that's the basics of how to capture book notes in Mem. Like I said, I would recommend using Readwise to capture your book notes and then exporting them into a markdown file of some sort. So that way it retains the formatting as opposed to cutting and pasting from a tool like Notion. But that's the basic overview of how to capture book notes in Mem.